So now we have developed our strategy and our business plan, and we have assembled all of our content. Right. The next step is as we get into the creative process is the site architecture. And what is site architecture? Simply, it is organizing all of the content that you had for your website or for your application and create a flow, a content flow and a functionality flow for which the users will experience all of your content and functionality. And it is not dissimilar to what an architect would do to design the flow of a building, uh, but it actually is, uh, is organized as a uh, flowchart because that is exactly the way patrons and audience members will interact with it, taking them on paths throughout your website or your application that goes from this step leads to this step leads to this step. And it just carries on throughout the site. So it's pretty simple and um, it is the first step before you really get into the deeper designing aspects of uh, building the website and the functionality uh, within uh, specific pages. But uh, it is a very important step. And so, as I said, what is site architecture? Uh, simply, here you might have your home page. And then what are all the levels below it? And I would try to keep that to as few as possible, hopefully no more than seven, though I've broken that rule in the past. I'm not happy about it. And then from there, these are your primary content areas. And they become your macro navigation, as we might call it, your high-level navigation. Those are those points on your website where you see the content areas broken out, where you then go in to subsections of those areas. And let's just say simply that this one over here is about, like we say, about the CSO or about your organization. And within that area, you will have subsections. And for, let's just use for this example, an orchestra's uh, structure, you might have the artists, the administration, and the history. But within these, you also have subsections. You might have the conductors, and you might have the sections of the orchestra, and you might have the support areas. And then within those, you might have subsections as well, like all the various sections of the orchestra, a uh, couple of conductors you have on staff, right? And it gets deeper and deeper. And what's important to know now is that you have all the content here. So as you're building this site structure out, you know that you have the content for this page and this page. And so what's more important when we get into wireframing, which you'll see in more detail, you spend a lot of time building how these pages work, where they get their information from and how they're presented. And it takes a lot of time to do that, to make sure you have all of your content before you go into this phase, because you will spend a lot of time designing what this page is structured, how it's structured technically, and from a presentation layer and design layer, and where it falls within the overall content flow, and then how this page works, and this page works, and this page works. And these are, we call these, these are sibling pages, and these are parent pages and child pages, because this is the highest level that's a parent. You have this as a child to that parent. This would be a child to that parent. You see how that works? But there is similar functionality as you go through but it's important to know that you're building functionality or you're building uh, pages for content that actually exists. And it gets much, much more complicated as you get into something that might be your ticket sales flow, which could have a lot of if then options. Right? So, in order to avoid a lot of problems, make sure you have all of your content first because you don't want to spend a lot of time building functionality and building a structure for a page that won't exist because it's going to take you a lot of time to do these kind of things to get your architecture in order because the next stage after this is wireframing. And within wireframing, 
you're actually laying out on a page where the functionality and where the content will exist and how the user will interact with it. So, on we go.